Who is this man? You will understand <laughs> in due time. Okay. So that's that's the best salesman. He was he was in Ocarina. Yeah, he was. Hi, friends. Welcome to Let's Play Majora's Mask Blind. I am Fairy Fortune, and with me are my two commentators. Hi, I'm Chaos Argate. I am still designated Navi. And I'm your favorite trickster god, Artix. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, just to get it out of the way, I know three things about this game going in. Number one, it uses most of the, like, a lot of the same assets as Ocarina of Time, because it's built on the same engine. Oh, 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 you okay, game? Uh, number two, it has masks. And number three, the moon scares small children, and that Goron is terrifying. That's the fourth thing I know about Majora's Mask. <laughs> so and I know we'll four find... things about this game. Yeah, but we found that one out on the fly, so that makes it That's okay. That's true, we're learning facts. This is an educational LP. But I was told I had to watch this because Artix really likes it. I mean, you don't have to, I just like it because it's a nice little intro to the game. Neat little flyover. So, I've talked about my experience with Majora's Mask, which is no. What about you two? <laughs> um, I I tried playing the GameCube version of this, and uh, I burned out on that because it crashed too many times on me, so I didn't actually finish this game until I got Majora's Mask 3D. I also have an N64 copy of it sitting in my N64 over there now. <laughs> So that's that's me. Um, I love this game. Like it is unironically my favorite Zelda straight up. It is one of my favorite games ever made. I have beaten it several times on the N64. I struggled through the GameCube original and I have and I, you know, got Majora's Mask 3D day 1 and beat that too. So This fellow looks trustworthy. Hi. I remember you from E3. <laughs> Didn't you announce Nia Automata? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taro Yoko. <laughs> so I'm just gonna um, call, I'm just gonna call the moon Emil from now on. Okay. So, uh, our name is Link. Obviously, uh, this isn't chaos mode, so we're not having a stupid name. That's actually for the better anyway, because this is literally the same link. Yeah. I don't. I, I am not going to go into timeline shenanigans because fuck that bullshit. But oh, so th so th this, this is, is this is Bobby Link like after he gets sent home by Zelda. Yes. 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 Okay. After he calls the cops on Ganon. Yeah. This that literally is... picks up like not not even months after Ocarina of Time. That is actually now that you've said it, that is actually another thing that I did know about Majora's Mask that it is a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. So that is the fifth fact that I know about this game. Anyway, should we learn more about this game by starting it? Yes. That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. This is already incredibly different in tone to Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, you're gonna... You see, you think it's weird now. You wait until we start getting into the actual game, and this is a very, very different game from Ocarina of Time. It's one of the things that makes this game really, um, really great, because it's not afraid to be different. Hey, it's Epona. Don't ask how we got that horse. Just we we went to the ranch and then and Malin wasn't looking, so we just kind of yeah. took her. Yeah, we went. just yeah. yeah we just stole the pony while Malin wasn't looking. I mean, I can believe that. I mean, it's totally cool. We had her song and everything. Yeah. She's she was too distracted appearing in Ocarina Jams with Link. Hi.
Yeah, of course she did that. Horses don't like anything. Well, you also have to remember the Drakengard principle, and that is that all fairies are assholes. Yep. Yes. It's not even a Drakengard principle, that's like literally legend, and oh. Okay. And we're dead. Thank you, this has been Majora's Mask. You joke, but this is one of those games that people have theories about. Oh god. It's true. I want to say Link being dead is one of the more popular theories about this game. That's really stupid. Look, if it's good enough for Squall... Oh god. <laughs> that that theory is incredibly stupid. Like most theories. So, yep, we're in the Lost Woods, and our horse just got hijacked by the Skull Kid. Yep. This asshole Skull Kid. And two fairies. Really, this whole game is about assholes. Great! Bye. Oh, bye! Well, we probably shouldn't let him get away. No. Oh, can I move? You oh, can! Great. Welcome to- welcome to gameplay! Okay, look, I don't have to remember how to equip my sword. Let's go to grass. <laughs> Um, do you go th Oh, that, that's the only exit, okay. Yeah, there, there is only one way to go right now. Yeah. You will notice something immediately different from between here and Ocarina. Like, once you start, like, moving, out, moving on. This is a really nice environment. Like, obviously filtered through N64 graphics, but this is a really nice environment. I like it. Did I just somersault? Yeah. Yes. Oh! Yeah, so, like I said, this Link is a little bit older. He's uh, got some slick moves now. Those are some rad moves. Ah, I was trying to roll into the scene transition. <laughs> oh. Well, down we go. You've survived worse, Link. It's fine. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> That's incredibly rude. Skull Kid's kind of a rude kid. That is incredibly creepy. Please stop that. <laughs> oh? Okay. Look, we just interrupted a party. That's not the Triforce. It kind of is. But oh, we're a tree. Okay. Should we water you soon? Yeah, you look at you're looking a little dry. These fairies are rude.
You're a fairy, I don't think you can... You. What the, what? We didn't make you mess with us. <laughs> this fairy is pretty rude. You're worried about the school kid. I think he's okay. No, she's uh, she's worried about the other fairy. Oh, also, this walk sound is great. <laughs> you yep. should see what you're uh, yeah. now. My what? Oh. So uh, they say not only can the this is Deku Link, by the way. We will, as we'll call him. Um, so he has a couple cool things. Not the least of which is that spin. If you press that, it actually does give you an, a burst of speed. Huh. So it does. Um. It's... Don't ask questions. Wait, you mean your grass doesn't move like that when you start cutting it? No. What kind of world do you live in? Not this one. Okay. Let's let's just get away from this weird place. These are some nice walls. Yes. Okay. You didn't really give me a choice. <laughs> so yeah, this is Tattle. She's your navy replacement. Okay. You may also yeah. notice she talked about her brother, Tail. Yep. Okay. So, Chaos Argate, C up is my navy button, okay? Uh, no, it's your, uh, it's your tattle button. Wait, that, that jingled. Oh. It did. Yeah, you also don't get the, hey, listen anymore. You just get a nice little chime whenever Tattle wants to talk to you. Yeah, I'm definitely not used to it. I'm, I'm a, well, not a human boy. I'm a Hylian boy. I'm going to dispute that. I think you are, in fact, already Deku Scrub right now. At some point, you should probably get good. Yes, I got that. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm aware. Okay, so I can jump into these. Yep. And then you can let go. And you'll fly. Whee! Yep. You say you can break the flight off at any time, or it'll happen automatically after a certain distance. Okay. Yeah. It basically works off like a radial distance. Um, so if you start moving back towards the jump point, uh, you'll you'll regain your um. I don't know the word, but you'll just stay up longer. Okay. okay. Note that you will always slowly fall though. So if you go far enough down, you will lose enough height that you can't get back to where you started. So it's like the Deku Leaf in uh, Wind Waker. Yes. Yeah. But it it's us. This Link looks so upset. I mean, he just got turned into a tree. Wouldn't you be upset by that? Oh, hey, there's a... a tree lad over there. <laughs> we should go say hi to tree lad. Inverted controls! Um... Wait, should we go say hi to tree lad first or go over there? Because that appears to be a chest. Well? Over, the, over there in the distance. I'm diligent, damn it. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you have to hold down the button for a little bit until the flower kind of spits, then you can fly. Yeah. Okay, let's go. We. Uh. That looked like I wasn't going to make it. Yeah, that, get... this platform's a little high. Aw, oh, yeah. Anyway, it's your favorite weapon, the Deku Nut. 
Now, deck building is special because if you hit, say, if you have them equipped, what you can do is you can actually drop them while you are flying. That's amazing. Also, hey, let's have a look at how different the menu is. Well, there's nothing there yet. Ah, see. Spoilers. There are masks. Yes, in this game <laughs> called Majora's Masks, one of the heavily, heavily influenced, uh, one of the big mechanics are masks. Oh, god damn it, I keep forgetting to hold. I'm an idiot. You'll get used to it. Okay. Okay, it's really hard to see, but there is actually another platform on the other side of that tree. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I can just about see the corner of it. So do I just go forward and then to the left? You should be able to make it. Yeah, just if go you, around. Like, do that. Okay. Because like I said, it is, like, the distance you can fly is, it's based on a radius. So if you cut further back in, you'll actually get a little bit further okay. forward. Okay. And then I go to this one over here that's behind that branch. Yes. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's the only way to go. Otherwise, I'd just be going straight back. Okay. We're learning. Actually, oh, I don't think goodness. you need to have the Deku Nets equipped if you want to um, just drop them while flying. Because they just oh. map your B button. Whoops. Remember your tattle button. I mean, I know this, but thank you. It's that's something I really yet. like about. That's something I really like about Tattle. Actually, she gets sassy over the things um, that you should remember from Ocarina. Tattle's really sassy in general. She's like Navi would is kind of is kind of like boring. She just kind of plainly tells you what it is, and Tattle's like, "Yeah, you do this thing. You should already know this." So Tal thinks the tree looks like it's about to cry. I don't know. I'll have a look at it. Does it? A little bit. Ugh! A little okay. too close. Maybe not that close. Personal <laughs> space, Joey. Yeah. So I can't do anything with it? Nope. No. Just okay. remember it's there. We'll okay. come back to that in a long, long time. Great. Oh, goodness. Okay, I remember this hallway. Did you hit the switch? Shit, we'll have to go back. Silver Falcon, help. There's no going back. Well, you fucked you're, up. You're in this for the long haul now. Okay, let's take a look around, observe our surroundings, get used to inverted controls again. So it looks like we're in some kind of sewer? It's not an inaccurate assessment. Okay. So... Oh! Yeah, so that's the thing. Dick and can hop on water. Now, bear in mind... That is, oh. see, if you, if you don't make it back to land, you will get shot back to wherever the last piece of solid ground was. Oh, yes. but you don't appear to lose any health, so that's good. Ah, uh, I see. So the, yeah, the the A button turns into how many skips you have left. Okay. Yep, you should also note that if you, do a, if you do a spin attack onto the water, you'll go a lot farther. Yeah, oh. I was about to say that, actually. So spin attack is like a movement ability as well as an offensive one. Yes. Yeah, like you know how people always roll to go faster in Zelda games even though it may or may not actually make you go faster? Yeah. This does make you go faster. Excellent. Okay, we have this. <laughs> a little bit, yes. Link looks so upset. You should take note of the masks the Happy Mask Man has. Yeah, there's some kind of Lucha mask. That really awful, it looks like a Redead, but like made of stone. Okay. Mm. 
I wouldn't say that's rude, but it is creepy. I'm nine. <laughs> okay. Alright, well that's a pretty straightforward objective. So we get our ocarina back, he helps us, and in return we get him his mask. He just clipped into that animation. That was not an elegant transition. He just does that. You'll get used to it. A lot of people have argued that's actually intentional. Like, this guy is supposed to come oh, off to, as To really make him creepy. seem like Uncanny Valley kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're on a time limit. That's so creepy! <laughs> yeah, that mask is kind of weird. Alright, please, so... Please stop... Wait. Oh, I can't... I can't ask not Navi about him. Okay. No. No. Right, Navi, Navi's not here. Wait, 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 uh, hang up. Before we go right. out, I want you to go look... Or go around behind him and look at his backpack. Just a little Easter egg. Can you even see it from this angle? Yes, uh, you can. Oh, oh yeah. it's a Mario hat. No, that's a Mario mask. Yes, it is. All right, it's a so good Easter egg. All right, so um, as as he mentioned, he is on a time limit. You have three days to get back his mask. Okay. This place, right here, inside wherever we are. This is the only spot in the entire game that time does not flow. Okay. So once you go out that door, we're on a one-way track. Okay. Well, I'm used to time limits. So let's go.